Well, there's a lot of uh, a lot of alleys that DJs can make money in, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's weddings or clubs, concerts, mm -hmm. birthday parties, I don't know, probably like store, grand store openings, like whatever, yeah, like whatever oh. sporting events, like what? How have you diversified yourself throughout the years, uh, being a DJ, and like where do you see yourself kind of going in the future? <laughs> uh, great question. Um, yeah, there's so many different avenues. People don't understand, and people sometimes seem to forget. Um, my first uh, eye-opening moment on, oh, shit, like a DJ can get paid for this. Mm -hmm. uh, I DJ the, the grand opening uh, at the Mall of America for Old Navy back in 2000. <laughs> God, what was that, 2012? And like it was, I had a horrible setup. I saw the photo. Uh, I was working with an entertainment company, and the the speakers I had were the ones that he had, and they're just these big wooden panels. And <laughs> I'm just in there, and it was just, um, I rocked it. It was a great time. Old Navy employees loved it. But that's the thing is that like there's so many different avenues. Um, DJ ones and other DJs. Um, are doing a ones at the Mall of America still to this day for grand openings or for just store shops. Um, weddings is huge. Uh, if you need a booking, let's go ahead and chat. Um, uh, there's now political. So I've gotten now into the political ever since helping out with Maria Issa. Uh, shout out to our house representative, Maria Issa. She's the best. Um, she helped me get into those fields where I ended up opening up for Bernie Sanders. And then we brought out Maria Issa, you know, like mm -hmm. I, I didn't see myself like I would have loved to meet Bernie Sanders, Senator Bernie Sanders. But it was like, uh, you know, we're in different fields. And then all of a sudden, because of music, I was able to meet him. Yeah. Um, there's just so many different avenues that one can go ahead and um, get. Uh, now I'm going to be helping out with Benel St. Margaret with some of their basketball games coming up. Um, I feel like a lot of times people forget an event. If you're hosting an event, having a DJ is going to take it up to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Especially if you can be a DJ and a host. Like, like I know... That's one thing, I, for, I think it was Polo Scott that I interviewed, and he said, like, the biggest thing for a DJ is learning how to also be the host and the promoter. Because, mm -hmm. one, that you don't have to pay extra people to do these things that mm -hmm. you can be all in one. And I think mm -hmm. Polo Scott is a really good example of mm -hmm. it because, um, like, the Free free Fridays at Monarch, like, mm -hmm. it's been going on for a long time, mm -hmm. but I feel like Polo Scott's always been at the forefront mm -hmm. of it. Or mm -hmm. when he's doing Tantrum Wednesday or Industry Wednesdays at Tantrum, he's the promoter, he's the host, he's the DJ, along with, you know, A1 or New Ski mm -hmm. or whoever they bring in for the one-off for that mm -hmm. night or whatever. But he does the full package. Mm -hmm. He does the booking of the other promoters. He, probably, he does the booking of the artists that they bring in, like... You can be all in one, but obviously yep. you, you can't do it for 50 venues. You can do it for that one or two venues that you are locked in with because, you, you know, there's so only so much energy and time that you got to do until you have to delegate other things if possible. Um, but would you, would you also agree that learning how to host an event while DJing is like a huge plus? Uh, it's a major one. Uh, first off, shout out to Polo Scott, uh, the man he's been doing it for many years. Um, yeah, I mean, being a DJ... Uh, being able to rock the rock the crowd uh, for any crowd is an amazing feat of its own. Mm -hmm. Then you add on to being able to talk on the microphone and amp people up in a different way. That just amplifies it. Now, I even as you're talking about this, I'm also thinking, you know, back when uh, I was doing a lot of the First Avenue sold out shows over there. I'm also the stage and event coordinator, mm -hmm. you know, so like I'm coming up with a list as well. So, I mean, there's so many hats that DJs um, can wear, have to wear, mm -hmm. you know, um, delegating for wearing, but that someone part had to do it, you know, uh, even helping out with promo. Uh, a lot of times people are just like, oh, we just are booking the DJ, but it's like, well, no, like for me, I'm like, well, how, how are other ways that I can help you? Like, you, thank you for the flyer. Uh, people do amazing flyers. Uh, my girlfriend, Mariah, has been doing amazing flyers for me. So if people need flyers, uh, but like a fly, people forget that like a flyer 
it doesn't have to be too much on it. Less is simple. Mm -hmm. Less is simple, but you have to have what, when, where, what, how. Mm -hmm. And going from that, like that only goes as so far with our algorithms. So, you know, sometimes I'll tell people like, I'll pull up to the shop, I'll pull up to you, let's do a little promo video. How mm -hmm. can we help? Um, I think a going, like for me, I like to go above and beyond what people think they need because like with me, that's, that's why I'm showing where your money is being put in because I really want to help you out, whoever it is, to make it a, a wonderful event. Yeah.